What is the situation of workers moving from the Western Balkans to work in the EU? The Treaty of Rome of 1957 established a common market based on the free movement of goods, people, services and capital. However, it also put EU citizens and third country nationals in very different situations when it comes to their mobility and rights within the Union. Today, the legal status of third country nationals is addressed by a patchwork of EU directives that subjects them to mobility and labour market restrictions as well as other forms of nationality-based discrimination. This binary picture looks somewhat blurred if you're a worker coming from Southeast Europe. EU enlargement in 2004, 2007 and 2013 brought new countries into the Union, but often with restrictions for workers moving from those countries. During recent years, the EU countries have somewhat opened up to citizens of the Western Balkans, with a close to tenfold increase in the number of residence permits to workers from the region between 2011 and 2019. This opening up of the labour market has been particularly marked in Germany. Against the backdrop of the so-called migration crisis in 2015, and confronted with a high number of asylum cases from Western Balkan countries, Germany introduced the Western Balkan Regulation in an attempt to reroute irregular migration to legal channels. The directive facilitates citizens of non-EU Western Balkan countries to move to Germany to work with a temporary visa, conditional on having a job offer, but requiring no specific or language skills. Workers Without Borders acts and advocates for the European institutions to do more to protect the rights of workers who move. Check out how to get involved.